What if I told you that Airbus, the company behind some of the most popular planes in the world, almost didn't even make it past their first plane? Yup, before the A320, before the A380, it was the A300, Airbus's first plane, that almost caused the whole company to fail. So, how did this happen? Well, back in the 1960s, the biggest airplanes in the world were all coming from the US. Companies like Boeing, McDonnell Douglas, Lockheed were all making huge planes and selling them to airlines all over the world. Meanwhile, in Europe, things were kind of all over the place. Countries like France, Germany and the UK all had their own small aircraft companies, but none of them were big enough to So in 1967, France and Germany competed, made a plan. Instead of competing, they would work together and build a new kind of passenger jet. Later, the UK also joined too. It wasn't just one company, it was a group of different companies from different countries all teaming up. And that's how Airbus started. It wasn't just owned by one person or the country, it was a project that showed Europe could build world-class airplanes too. And their first idea was pretty bold. They decided to build the first ever twin engine wide body jet, which they called the Airbus A300. Now, if you're wondering what that means, twin engine, it means that it had two engines with, with means big plane with two aisles inside for passengers. So, sounds normal now, right? But back then, that was really risky. In the 1970s, most airlines didn't want big planes on two engines. They were used to things like the 747 that had four engines or the DC-10 and MD-11 which had three. The reason was simple engines weren't as reliable as they are today and if one failed while over the ocean far away places you wanted to get extra engines that could get you to safety but Airbus said hey here's a huge plane with only two engines so most airlines didn't really want it and to make things worse no one really trusted Airbus yet because they were brand new so no one knew if they could actually build a plane that worked while it was and it was safe even European airlines didn't want to be the first to buy it British Airways Lufthansa and others held back with zero orders Airbus Airbus started losing money far. And by the mid 1970s, things were getting bad. The governments were paying to keep the A300 project alive, and even and they were even starting to wonder if it was worth it. Some people thought Airbus should just give up the dream of a European airline company looked like it might be over before it even really started. But then something pretty awesome happened. In 1978, a guy named Frank Borman came into the picture. He was a former NASA astronaut and one of the first people to orbit the moon and, at the time, was the boss of Eastern Airlines, a big airline in the US. Airbus invited him to take a test flight in the A300 and he actually really liked it. And the way it flew, how quiet it was, and how little fuel it used. And that was important because fuel prices were super high at the time. So Airbus made him a deal try out a few planes just for free and then lease them to see how they would do if you don't like them send them back and then eastern airlines gave it a shot and guess what the a300 did great it used less fuel passengers liked the extra space and it was cheaper to operate than other planes so eastern ordered more and just like that they became the first big u.s airline to buy from airbus and that moment saved the company once airbus got one big american customer the other airlines started paying attention if eastern airlines trusted airbus maybe they could too and orders started finally coming in, slowly at first, from Asia, Middle East, and finally more from Europe. The A300 went from being a total flop to a pretty solid plane. In total, Airbus built in total Airbus built 561 A300s. Not the most ever, but enough to keep going, and that was huge because now Airbus had the money to experience to build more planes like the A310, 20, 330, and even the giant A380. The A300 was the plane that kept Airbus alive, and without the company, and without it, the company probably wouldn't exist today. And now Airbus is one of the two biggest plane makers in the world, right up there with Boeing. Their A320 is everywhere and they're making some of the most advanced jets on the planet, all because of that big risk they took with the A300 and just got a little lucky. So yeah, Airbus almost failed before they really got started, but thanks to a cool idea, smart deal, and a little help from an American airline, they pulled it off. And now the rest is aviation history. And just before I go, I wanted to say I finally made a whole line of merch and other aviation stuff, so go check it out, even if you're not buying anything it's a cool store and cool to look around but if you but if you do buy something thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it and cannot express my feelings for it enough and if you like the video and the channel don't forget to subscribe because it really helps the channel and i'll see you in the next one